This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Trimax Model Max 60 Disc and Cable Lock. This is a product that's advertised as a hardened solid steel lock with a 14 millimeter shackle. What we're going to be doing today is seeing what it takes to pick into this lock, but before we do that, I wanted to take you through a couple of the more questionable claims on the packaging. First, it says that this is a hardened solid steel lock, and I don't think this qualifies as a solid steel lock. If you were to look underneath this plastic coating, what you would find is a hollow steel tube, hopefully a hardened hollow steel tube, and inside of that is a whole bunch more plastic as well as the components of the locking mechanism. Then we have the claim that this is a 14 millimeter shackle, and that simply isn't the case. I can tell you just by looking at this that it's not 14 millimeters, but so you don't have to take my word for it, let's take this caliper out and 11.8 millimeters, let's see, 11.83 millimeters, even if you were to count the plastic covering, which you certain, certainly should not, 11 point, I'm sorry, 13.6 millimeters. So that's a pretty significant misrepresentation. Okay, let's turn this over, see what else it has to say. A 14 millimeter shackle, nope. A tough polymer outer coating to help absorb hammer strikes. It's an interesting bit of marketing where essentially they take all this plastic gingerbread that they put on here to make you think this lock is bigger and beefier than it really is, and they turn that around into a security feature. Then we have three ultra secure keys. And I don't know what an ultra secure key is, but I can tell you anything I can open in a few minutes does not qualify. Then we have the rotating key cover to keep out dirt and corrosion. And that seems to be exactly what's advertised. And it's a pretty nice feature. Frankly, any lock that's going to be used outside most of the time should have something like that. If we look at the key, you can see that this is of a relatively unusual design, and I've certainly seen a whole bunch of keys like this in the past. And the cores that they go into fall into two categories. We either have a wafer lock or a slider sidebar lock. And by looking in the keyway of this Trimax, it appears to be of the slider sidebar design, though frankly the way it picks and the way it feels inside feels a lot more like the wafer to me. It's a lot mushier and, and frankly it just doesn't give very good feedback. In either case, we are still going to try to pick into this lock. So let's get some tension in here. And I'm going to be using this 15,000 standard hook. I'll be inserting it sideways and turning it to lift those sliders up. Okay, so number one on the right side it's binding, got to click there. Nothing on two. Let's see, number three, giving me a little bit trouble getting underneath it, but got to click there out of him. Moving on to four. Okay, got a nice big click out of four, and I think I felt a little bit of movement on the core. Let's go back to the beginning on the right side. Three. Okay, I'm not feeling anything else, and I think that tiny bit of movement may have been the right side sidebar setting. So let's start on the left side now. Okay, number one, I'm not feeling anything there. Nice fat click out of two. Nothing on three or four. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Click out a two and good movement on the core. Nothing on three. Hit four and we opened it up. Okay, so as you can see, definitely not too much of a challenge to get into. So that's all I have for you on this Trimax model Max 60 disc and cable lock. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.
Thank you.